three personnel changes for today's Connacht final and give veteran Declan Meehan the number 15 jersey. Gary Sice returns at left half back. There's a place in midfield for Niall Coleman, deputising for the suspended Gary O'Donnell. And Nicky Joyce has returned to the fold, starting today at wing forward. By comparison, Mayo make just one alteration to their forces after their very easy semi-final victory. Liam O'Malley is back to full fitness and replaces Donald Vaughan at right corner back. There has remained a concern about the facial injury sustained by midfielder Ronan McGarity in a club match recently, but he's been given the OK to start. John Bannon from Longford, the referee, starts the 110th Connacht football final. And it is Mayo who won the toss and they are playing from right to left in the first half. The wind behind them, straight away, it's Declan Meehan. Kicking it in invitingly here. Caught well by Nicky Joyce. Comes back down again. Pressure on the Mayo backline immediately here. Dealing with that was Keith Higgins. Foul, free kick awarded to him, taken very, very quickly. Collected well here by Kilcoyne. Mortimer back towards Heaney. Can they finish with a score now? They certainly can. David Heaney's first point in this year's championship, opening the scoring in the Connacht final. Good start for Mayo. Michael Meehan has drifted way out, did well to keep it in play initially, but it's going to be a Mayo ball. Then he collided with Jer Capricky. They use the wind bow all the way in towards Barry Moran. Broken down here. And that's a big shot by Aidan Kilcoyne and another point for Mayo. Kilcoyne's first shot of the target, producing their second score. And straight away, questions being asked of Galway's full back line. Trevor Howley now. Works well here for Aidan Kilcoyne again. Should have been in the corner of the net. That was a glorious chance, and he knows it. A really superb opening here, presented to Aidan Kilcoyne. Got the first of Mayo's semi-final goals after four minutes. Nearly repeated the act here, but outside on this occasion. That was a great chance. Back in once again. Contained, Nicky Joyce making headway. An opening for Nicky Joyce, and that's the opening point for Galway in this match. It's taken just over seven minutes. But Nicky Joyce, the player who was on the panel, then off the panel, back on today, he's in form, held off the challenge of Liam O'Malley, did really well. Lovely strike. Oh, what a block that was. David Heaney was trying to get the ball away. In there came Joe Bergen. Bergen still has it. Fed forward here as far as Declan Meehan, expected to uh, play as a third midfield player. Nicely up as far as Nicky Joyce, he's got one, taking on Liam O'Malley again. Making a better angle for himself, selling loads of dummies. That's a really good strike, another fine point for Galway. And again, it is Nicky Joyce. Teams are level here, really finely executed score. Well, that should have been cleared there by David Heaney. What a block on it by Joe Bergen. Great industry being shown by Galway. And when it came down the field that time, there was Nicky Joyce, two points apiece. Aidan O'Shea did enough on it to give it as far as Trevor Mortimer. Bradshaw, his marker. Nice ball inside. Retained well here by Aidan O'Shea. Taking on Coyne. He's a very strongly built young man, and he puts it over the bar. And it's another one for Mayo, and a first of the day for Aidan O'Shea. Aidan O'Shea from Brafey. Such strength, such resolution, great direction, fine shot. But it's pressure at the other end now. Good play. Cafferty started it. Mortimer sending it down once again. Once more it is Aidan O'Shea. Setting it up here for Pat Hart. Goal chance! Oh! Comes off the crossbar and goes over the bar. What a goal opportunity that was. Mayo will have to be happy enough with the point here. Pat Hart's first. 
but there was definitely a wonderful opening. Aidan O'Shea set it up, good running by Pat Hart, and it came off the crossbar and went over. He's on a goal again, brilliant shot, just over. Fisted away by Dermot Blake, reaches Sean Armstrong. Trying to break the tackle here of Keith Higgins, succeeds in holding onto the ball anyway. Oh, didn't make any progress whatsoever. Instead, it is Jer Cafferkey trying to solve a problem position for Mayo at number three this season. Roland McGarity. Having a go himself, and it tantalizingly falls in there and it's at the back of the net. tantalizingly and Barry Moore and Anthony Hanley were competing for it and I'm not too sure he's going to take the credit it might well be an own goal by Hanley Gary Sice kicking it across here drop down Joyce for it Joyce has options oh. Nicky Joyce his cousin puts it over the bar his third point but there was a goal there for the taking and that was what is that was what was in Forrick Joyce's head, you can be sure. Such a clever player. Look at him moving still. He was waiting for the return pass. Never quite came from Nicky Joyce. And it's put over the bar instead. 1-6 to 5 points. Here's Trevor Mortimer once again. Lovely position taken up here by Ronan McGarity. Very ambitious kick. Oh, what a kick! What a point by Ronan McGarity. Well, there was deep concern that he might not be able to make the final because of that uh, bad injury he picked up in the club game he was playing it a couple of weeks ago. But he's back, and he's back at his level best. What a score. Well, that was Andy Moran looking for Aidan O'Shea to replicate the Greyhounds at the nearest track. There's no way he was going to get to that one. Oh, it's a terrible line ball, and it's an opportunity here. Mayo with their new man in, and that new man, Colin Mortimer, raises a white flag. First point since being introduced at half-time. Well, it was a terrible line ball, should have been cleared down the field. Instead, it was seized on here by Conor Mortimer, show, wants to show everybody what he can do. Another one for Conor Mortimer. David Heaney trying to retain the possession. Galway challenging fiercely. Mayo doggedly holding on to it. Good play there by Alan Dillon. He's had a great match. Andy Moran now. Lobbing it forward. Looking for Trevor Mortimer. He does well against Finney and Hanley. Across towards Conor Mortimer. It's in the back of the net. The precocious Conor Mortimer gets another goal for Mayo and they lead by 2-11 to 10 points and it has come here in the 62nd minute. Trevor Mortimer takes lots of the credit and his brother completed the action. Finney and Hanley was challenging Mortimer initially and when Trevor Mortimer managed to get away he found his brother lurking menacingly into the back of the net a little message of his own there for Michael Jackson towards Declan Meehan Gary Sice now here's Niall Coleman but they need to try and make inroads Forrick Joyce picking out Cormac Ban didn't start comes back here to Nicky Joyce into the air well taken here's an opportunity Meehan great save over the bar, it's gone. Michael Meehan gets a fourth. But credit Kenneth O'Malley for a very fine stop. This is where Galway were looking for one of those goals. Goalkeeper produced a fantastic save to tip it over the crossbar and to make it 2-11 to 12 points. So near and yet so far. Hit into space. That space is covered by Damien Burke. Time running away for Galway, however. Out as far as Sean Armstrong. Hasn't scored in the match. 
neither has this man here, Joe Bergen. Back towards Armstrong again. They'll be content with a point at the end of this attacking idea. And Sean Armstrong puts it over. Now is it a case of too little this late in the game? It's 2-11 to 13 points, which means there's four points between them. Kicked there by Nicky Joyce. Umpires wave the white flag. The lead is down to three. An eighth point for Nicky Joyce. And now it becomes a very, very worrying last few minutes for Mayo. We're in the 70th minute. I'm just wondering now how much additional time will be allowed. Surely two minutes. Galway know what they must do. They've got to get a goal to tie the match. Mayo need possession. Ronan McGarrity makes an important catch and loses it to Dermot Blake. Fouls Blake. Free kick to Galway. We're playing stoppage time. Down. Stopped again it goes. Jerk Kafferke initially. And now. At least three minutes, they're saying, of additional time. Aidan O'Shea now. Fed off here well. Great run through there by the substitute, Tom Parsons, who's come in for David Heaney. Alan Dillon, don't want to rush their shot, don't want to give the ball away. They've got to try and eat into the clock. We're 18 seconds into injury time. They're ahead by a goal. The kick here is by Pat Hart, and he's put it well to the left. Oh, it's getting very, very, very tense. Dermot Blake, Galway need to get the ball down the field. Three points behind. A goal required. Matthew Clancy, down to Bergen. And swung around there unceremoniously by Mark Ronaldson. And the referee has got to call him across. Play continues. And Mayo have it. Well, they're defending valiantly. And Rona McGarrity to carry it forward beyond Declan Meehan. A minute and 11 seconds of the three minutes of stoppage time has now been played. Alan Dillon, his team ahead by 2.11 to 14. That's 17 points to 14. Connor Mortimer. Again, just denying Galway possession, frustrating them. And it's huge frustration, but now it's turned over, and it's kicked down the field by Niall Coleman. Two against two. Meehan has it. Meehan must get a goal here. Meehan still, and Meehan has scored. They're level. It's the equaliser. Two minutes into stoppage time, Michael Meehan scores. It was the pressure which paid off eventually, and Michael Meehan is in for his seventh ever goal in the championship. He'll hardly ever score a more important one in the colours of Galway. He's tied it up, 2-11 to 114. Showed great composure and a deadly finish. Is it to go to a second day? The minor match between Mayo and Roscommon finished level here. Is the senior match to follow in similar fashion? One more last attack by Mayo. They draw the free kick. The player who was fouled was Andy Moran. And now there's a chance for Mayo themselves to win it. But there's only about 10 seconds of the three minutes of stoppage time still remaining. Gardner has kicked it and put it over the bar. Peter Gardner has put Mayo into the lead. What a dramatic last five minutes. You could barely write the script. Potter Gardner comes up the field, puts it over, and Mayo are crowned the champions. What a finale. One of the best we've ever seen. And John O'Mahony has now led Mayo to win the Connor title.
Galway fans absolutely despondent, crestfallen, just after they had drawn level, but John O'Mahony's men had one more attack in them, and it fell to Pater Gardner from Cross Malina to put it over the bar and to win it by the narrowest of margins. It finishes Mayo, two goals and 12 points. Galway, one goal and 14. It's the moment Trevor Mortimer has waited for. The Nestor Cup is raised. Mayo are the Connacht football champions for 2009.